This is a power BI demo. And there are two demo classes. First demo, second demo. And today is the first demo. And tomorrow, second demo. And this is the agenda for the first demo. First 20 minutes introduction. Next 40 minutes, I will explain this part, a very important part. Types of data, types of IT applications, types of BI, MSBA versus Power BI versus Azure BI, Microsoft Fabric, Power BI components, Power BI concepts. And whatever I'm explaining in the next 40 minutes, one hour is very important. You're going to learn a very good content, which you will not get in the online portals and mini trainers. This part is very important, not a practical part, that does not mean you'll get everywhere. You cannot get all the places. So very, very important. Keep your focus in case you're going to establish a wonderful career. Yes. Today's session is really helpful for you. Guys, who are freshers, keep focus on this. Who are experienced, focus on this part. For freshers beginning to ending, and experienced people, in, in case you feel like something you know, then focus on this, because this is definitely new for you. And usually don't take the classes without understanding this. If students don't understand this, I'm not continuing to the next sessions. Because in the demo session level, I'll give a good revision on this not demo, demo overview level. Once you are thorough with this, then only it makes sense continuing with the practical. Please keep you. Who all just join, kindly provide your email ID and contact number in the chat room. Right. First demo, 20 minutes introduction. Go to this. My name is Vinay. And this is my contact number. My call timing, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'm a working senior lead consultant. Training type basics to advanced. Duration 50 to 60 hours. Daily training, one hour only. My one hour equal to for you two to three hours practice. Initially, you may feel like today and tomorrow, uh, training going at basic level, uh, I can do it. But later on, you will come to know. First few days, you may feel I, it's going in a basic level. Yeah, I have to go. But the training is fully practical and close to real time. My one hour equal to for you two to three hours minimum practice. If I take two hours, for you six to eight hours time is required for practice. It's really tough in a day. Virtually, it is possible, but physically not possible. And Monday to Friday compulsory sessions. Monthly to Saturdays, you are having classes. And usually in the Saturdays, I will take a live practice session. You will practice along with me. Some important topics, you will practice along with me. And many people love these sessions and they attend it. Class mode, online and offline, both available. And daily video sharing. So this is about my details, class details. Coming to video, from today onwards, daily you will receive the video until 1.5 years access you will get. Communication, WhatsApp, very quick, most of the people using this. And materials, theory you will receive, practical you will receive. FAQs, mock interviews, this all conducted. MSBA level, tabular cube is there. MSBA, separate BA component, not power BA. In this tabular cube, one hour understanding I'll give you. Four hour SQL sessions practice. Four hour SQL sessions. 
and you learn a whole SQL, but where line topics are important. This is required for the interview and real time working perspective. So I will take four to five hours here. That is not sufficient for your effective learning and for interviews and whatever I'm taking related to our class only. And the classroom level to understand SQL related concepts, SQL related subject that four to five hours sufficient. But if you want to face interview, you want to work in the real time, not sufficient. Learn thoroughly and completely to get understanding of what exactly SQL has. In SQL level, only nine topics important for you to work in the real time as, as well as to face interviews. And I will give you two near real time projects. Everyone will say we'll give you projects in the, but we will give you, ask anyone. And multiple case studies. Usually my classes include more and more case studies. This is what we provide. After my training, you can go for interviews. You can go for certification. PL300 is the exam for Power BI certification. 70 to 80% you can write after my sessions. Or what about remaining 30? Something additional you need to prepare, I'll give you the dumps free. Who are planning to prepare, I'll give you the dumps free. And guidance also free. Real time working. In case you're working in a project, you want to work much more better way with optimization tips. With efficient uses of options, then my class is highly helpful. Are you a senior resource? You just want to develop your own reports. 100% you can develop your own reports after this session. No doubt in that. Multiple ways it is helpful. You want to try, you want to appear for exam, and you want to generate your own reports, possible. And who is eligible, sir? Any graduate can learn Power BI. What type of component it is? It's a low code component. Full support to graphical, it's a low code. I'm not saying no code. I'm saying low code, less code. And that too, the code is DAX language code. There's a special language. Data analysis expressions. These are close to Excel functions. Your company doing some operations, calculations. So no customer, sorry, no corporate company a software development company can give you formula for your company operations. That time we need to write our own formulas. So if you want to write it, these functions are helpful. Since we are using it, sometimes we call it as a low code. Otherwise it's a no code only. And you can use Power BI in these many areas. As a report developer, please remember, a full technical resource. As a BI developer, these are technical, pure technical, 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 90% 90, 90 opportunities or 80% opportunities in this area. Data analyst, business analyst, data scientist, in this area 20%, that means 20% opportunities, power BA in this combination, but 90% pure developer and BA developer available. And multiple ways power be helpful. So IT people, non-IT people, and different types of people, it is helpful. These three sections able to understand. Right. What I'm going to provide in the next two months, I'm going to provide next two months. Project related components like this. These are all project related. And this is subject related. Both are different. Since you're going to work in the real time, you need data warehousing fundamental, data modeling fundamental, agile methodology, GitHub versioning. These four required. Oh, sorry, pure real time. And case studies, multiple case studies to near real-time projects. 
and most of the top MLCs is using database as their storage. Even you heard about database, though you're a non-technical resource. So to bring the data from the database and work on, you need SQL knowledge. It's a special language to work with the databases. I will take three to four hours, as I said earlier, but I recommend you to learn whole course and prioritize nine topics. And job trials, resume preparation, FAQs, mock interviews. So these two I will cover and this I will conduct. The people who are interested for interviews, want to face interviews, will conduct mock interviews. And Power BI subject, Power BI available with cloud, Power BI available with on-premises. And I'm covering cloud components as well as on-premises components. And you may work with Power Apps, Power Automate, these kind of power platform components in the real time. These kind of power platform components, I'll give you four hours understanding on these two. So the content, what I'm showing here, 100% suitable for real-time working environment. This is purely designed based on the real-time working environment. If you go through job descriptions after finishing the class, you will come to know. Now create LinkedIn, Indeed, if you go to websites and just type Power BI, then you find this technology only. Don't feel panic if you're non-IT, slowly you'll understand, but you should be in a right, right way. If I explain with small, simple words, small, small things, it takes a lot of time for you to adjust with the technology and process. So many people asking me, sir, explain your power be in a very simple way. Yeah, I can explain you. What is the uses of it? When you go for an interview, they will ask you in a different way. When you work in the company, you'll work in a different way. Where you learn all these things. At the same time, Power BI is not complex, very simple to learn. If you keep your focus, whether IT or non-IT, easily you can learn. In case you're not able to understand on that day, anyway, live class video you will receive. Go through the video. It is with you. Multiple times you can read, watch, practice. And Power BI report developer. 90% Nine, opportunities report developer in the market. Nowadays, more experience also available, 10%. Above five, 10% opportunities available. In this Power BI developer role, less than five, my course is highly suitable. After learning course from me, if you keep more than five years in Power BI, not possible. Less than five years only possible. Because modeling, designing, specialization, architecting knowledge will not come up with learning. At least one or two projects, end and practice is required, end and work experience is required. Then only you get sufficient knowledge to become a modeler, designer, architect, highly remunerated positions. Usually people asking me, sir, if I'm having eight years, nine years experience in Power BI, how much package I will get? Will I have life or not? Or do I need to change to other technology? No need. You can continue in Power BI as an architect, data modeler, specialist, technical side, pure technical side. And ignore about Power BI. See, if you're good with Power BI, then no need of this. You're a BI architect, you're a BI modeler, BI specialist. Never ending life. As long as IT industry is there, till that time, BI is required, business intelligence. And coming to develop, report developer less than five years. So Power BI, DAX, DAX is a language I told you, it is a low code language and SQL, database language. This combination only 90% opportunities in the market, Power BI plus SQL. A report developer. And you can try as a support resource. If the reports are developed to provide support, then support developer, sorry, support resource. You can try as an admin resource. And my course 100% covers this development role, 80% support, 80% admin. Because the remaining 20% not possible since we don't have proper admin tool. 
that is possible with only premium capacity account, then a special account in Power BI or fabric account in Power BI. With fabric account or premium capacity account only, we can see the admin part, 100% admin part. But my, my course will give you sufficient knowledge to try as an administrator as well. So these are the different roles, only Power BI. Power BI developer, Power BI admin, Power BI support resource. The differences I will tell you uh, immediate to the demo classes. If I started explaining now, we cannot enjoy the demo flash. Everything not possible to cover in one hour. And people who are having knowledge on this and who wants to get benefit, they're learning these kind of tools and trying along with Power BI. But in case you want to take a decision, which component is good in the market along with Power BI? Sir, I'm having seven years of IT experience. I want to learn Power BI along with Power BI one tool as well. Which tool? Till end of the class, if you stay tuned, then you will only identify which tool is good along with Power BI in this market. If you drop in the middle, you cannot understand. You cannot identify. So what Institute provides? What as a developer you will try? In case more experience you have, what type of opportunities you can try? I clearly explain. And this is project related content and subject related components. And today is the first demo introduction completed. And this is the part I need to start. This is generally. And uh, sir, everyone will say uh, videos we will provide, materials will provide, but uh, could you please show me how you are providing? And online people, my sincere request, kindly provide your email ID and mobile number to get today's demo video and document. Right. For every batch, we will prepare a folder like this. you want to see the previous batch, previous 6 p.m. batch? Yes, you can. Or recent batch, 8 o'clock, 9 a.m. February batch, 7 p.m. any batch we take. So previous one will take. This was the batch complete on Saturday. So we will place all the lab files here, videos here. And checklist, this kind of checklist you will get today. My training is fully systematic training. And here is a place, what all the topics. Here is a place, what all the topics. I'm going to cover how long I'm going to cover. If it is completed one by one, I will mention. For any batch. Pending means pending. Even you can go and see in the drive level. This sheet will be in your drive. You can verify, okay, how many classes completed, how many more pending. No, not ask anyone, full systematic here. For example, Power BI service classes, go to service. So this is already completed, but I forgot to type it. Or I, ch I may change this. Power query, CS, 6 pm SSS. These are the subtopics and subtopics wise content. Data modeling, what I'm going to cover. Visualization, how many visuals I'm going to cover. For example, go to nine o'clock batch. 28th February started. This week is the last week for this batch. The people will go like this. See, interview preparation concepts of FAQs also completed for this batch. They just go to this. This was the topic going on here. All topics available they see first. Or if a desktop learning started, now this is pending, continuing. And if you go here, it's a DAX session. DAX session. So, so far, these are completed, DAX. These are pending. No, currently going on. So how come you say, sir, these are completed and pending? And if you see this, logical functions today completed, I forgot to type it, yes. 
I'll show you in nine o'clock batch. Same title, 9 a.m. February. 9 a.m. Set video place for today, logical functions. And systematically they will get a message when the class is completed. Last class, one topic happened. Topic every session. People will ask live practice session. We are very much interested. Could you please postpone? In case a topic completed, see, I were informed. So data modeling completed, tax session started. Kindly plan it and every day. Plan it and every day. And we'll give tests as well. These are the tests. Once the topic completed, we'll give a test. So fully systematic guys here. And proper response. If student have a doubt, do you have class tomorrow? Yes, you And the type of support also. Just, just for your knowledge. Hi, sir. Good morning, Thursday. I got my H1B visa process. I'll be leaving to US this month. And I did all this because of you. Thank you so much, sir. And she learned Power BI and now she's learning ADF in our institute. So this is a reputation we are maintaining. Not one to many people. My friend, put Thank you. I have a service in the actual day. Okay, we really didn't have a Now, work in any support. Okay. Okay. Can we have the conversation in English, please? Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Thank you. Nice. Fine. Right. So this, this is a way we will give proper response. You don't worry for every student. Although you are absent for 10 days, 15 days, no need to worry. You will see the sequential order content, the WhatsApp content, as well as videos. So videos are sequential order. Take the nine o'clock batch. This is the session today connected tag sessions. Seventh session today at 11 o'clock, video uploaded, logical functions. Today, 28th, logical functions covered. The WhatsApp message also logical functions. For your better understanding how we are proceeding, video please last. So regarding institution, the kind of support, the kind of content we are covering, everything is over. Now I'm going to demo part. And before I go to demo part, if anyone having any questions, you can ask me. Online, offline people, accept your personal details. And if you want to talk to me regarding your career guidance, shifting to this or upskill, call me on this number and this is the timing. Accept this regarding class, anything you want to ask or demo level, anything you want to ask, you can ask. In case you haven't provided your email ID, mobile number, Kindly provide before I start the actual part. Online people, anything you want to ask regarding the discussion which we had in the last 20, 25 minutes? Okay, then thank you. So introduction I given properly. Now I'm going for this part. What is that? See guys. I'm going to explain data, data to IT application, IT application to BA application, BA to Power BI, Power BI to Power Platform, finally Fabric. This flow I'm going to explain now. A very important flow. I will start from the basic till Fabric I'll cover because Power BI is part of Fabric. Earlier, Power BI a part of platform. For 2009 onwards, for 19 onwards, it is part of platform. 2023 onwards, it is part of fabric. And 2013 onwards, it is individual, standalone. 
But why is that joined in 19 with this and 2023 again move to separate? And which Power BA we are going to learn? We are going to learn Power BA, which is a fabric Power BA. While working on Power BA, you come across many times fabric, fabric, fabric. Even I will give you an account, which is fabric. Then what is fabric? So before I go to fabric, I will explain this part. Kindly focus. And data. A very boring part. Daily we are dealing with the data. But technically, anything you are able to store is called data. Unstorable, not storable is not called data. Storable information is data. We store three types of data. Structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data. Three types. So tables, Excel, these come under structured data. See guys, column by column available. This is structured data. And this kind of information you see in the tables, you see in the Excel sheet. Semi-structured. If you look at this, this is metadata and this is data. So both mixing, or you can call it as a structure and you can call it as a data. Structure and data. Structure and data. This is called semi-structured, not fully. Examples available in the market, JSON, JavaScript object notation file, XML, extensible markup language, these two, not only these two, many available in the market with semi-structured, unstructured, social media, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, these all come under unstructured. So we all guys knowingly or unknowingly daily, we are working with all the three types of data. Sir, how it is related to Power BI? That I will explain. Wait for a minute. Next. Storages. So we keep this data, these three types of data, either in the format of files or in the format of databases. There are no other storages in the IT. Your data may be in the file, maybe small file or bigger file. Our data may be in the database. There are no other storages. And again, we keep this information, file and database, on-premises, our cloud. Within the company, you may keep your file or database, or somebody else stores you use to keep your file or database. So knowingly or unknowingly, we are working on it. You are taking snaps, cute snaps. You are keeping first in your mobile, mobile memory, or your system memory your C drive, D drive, that is on-premises. And we are taking backup into Google Drive, OneDrive, etc. This is cloud. Oh. And we take our mobile contacts in a Gmail, Yahoo Mail, somewhere. Cloud. That is a cloud. So knowingly or unknowingly, we are working on on-premises and cloud. On-premises is our premises. Cloud is somebody else. That is. So we have three types of data, two types of format, two types of storage. And Power BI initial slogan and Power BI market leader because of this. Any type, any format, any storage. When you read the manuals of Power BI, you will find this kind of technology. It's a slogan of Power BI. Any type of data it can handle, any formatted data it can handle, any storage data it can handle. This is the first application in the market. That is one thing. Second thing, regarding data, I want to give you understanding. So data understanding also completed. Questions, please. Next. IT applications. We use data only in the IT application level. data only and many types available remember many types among importantly one is business running second one business analysis you, you, you had about different technologies tools in the market why for different purposes 
not all for the same purpose. And you guys attending a demo, where this demo component helps in the companies to analyze the business, to take decisions. As part of organizational growth, it helps to take decisions. And basically, you need to know about two types of applications. Because 90% of the applications in the market, either business running or business analysis. And business running applications, mostly they give at the end of the operation, transaction success or failure. Take an example, IRCTC, ticket booking. Book my show, ticket booking. Online cash withdrawal, sorry, ATM cash withdrawal. Online money transfer. What is the message you receive? These are all business running applications. What is the message you receive? Yeah. You will receive a message called transaction successful, transaction fail. So technically, we call these applications as online transaction processing applications. What do we call them? So what is online transaction processing? The applications which provide transaction success or failure. Yeah. Knowingly or unknowingly, we are working and we are generating it. So general public, they use forms. You want to book a train ticket. Right. How do you do it? You will open the form, maybe in the web, maybe in the desktop, maybe in the mobile app. You fill the form. The transaction details available in a storage. That is called transaction storage. Remember. So here, the PNR number, customer names, amount, starting station, ending station. Seat number. Yeah, seat, birth number, everything available. This is transactional process. This is transactional data. And these are transactional applications. Transactional applications. Transactional data. And the complete part come under transactional process. Transactional application. Transactional data. Transactional process. OLDB, simply. And now BA usage widely extended, but initially BA for this transactional operations. So this data we will take implement analytical process or BA process and prepare analytical data and the data provided to management team for effective decisions. So this data connoted like this. Today in Tatkal, how many trains having highest booking? How many trains having lowest booking? Tatkal versus normal tickets in today's booking. This kind of information. So this data, transactional data like PNR number, amount, number of passenger, normal plain data, Set of records data, we need to convert like this. It's not that much simple to convert. We always follow a process. That is a business intelligence process because we generate business intelligent data here. We call a man as an intelligent. We call a person as an intelligent when his decision making is good. His analytical capability is good. Here also, we are providing analytical data, decision making data. So this data is called business intelligence data. What about data? Business intelligence. So business intelligence is a process we implement and we generate business intelligence data. This is BA data. But how do you present? If you want to book a train ticket, movie ticket, anything, you will get a form. And here, the information presented using a report or dashboard. Then what is report? What is dashboard? And how customers will see, management will see. Again, web, desktop, mobile, these applications, they use it to see. So how many ways we do operations, those many ways, analytical data display possible nowadays, first point. 
and the data available in the form of a reported dashboard. What is report? What is dashboard? This picture is clear. And you guys will take this data. You work on this process and generate reports or dashboards. This is your objective in the companies. As a Power BI developer, BA developer, this is your role. Your first responsibility implementing the process. Second responsibility, report a dashboard generation. And your audience are management team, analytical team, decision making team. Your audience. Next, see this. Little broad, general public, IRCTC booking, forms, transactional data. Maybe the data in a database, low on premises or cloud. Power BI kind of applications will take this data and generate reports or dashboards and provide to management team or analytical team. Power BI level, these kind of operations we do, that is a different story. I will explain tomorrow with practical. But this is a role of Power BI. It will take this data on premises or cloud. And finally, report or dashboard will provide. So this is the input of Power BI and this is the output of Power BI. And our audience are management team yeah. or analysts. Everyone got this? Yes. Right. See this. I told you BA. What is BA? Business intelligence. Intelligence to the business. Decision making or analysis of the business. And here the input is any data. Please look at the words. What I'm highlighting. Output is report or dashboard. Obviously. Then what is report? What is dashboard? Please see guys. Here are multiple visuals available. You are showing more data. So detailed data you show. More visuals you have. That is a report. And report is always for individual operation. One operation. One operation. Detailed data. More visuals. Report. But what about dashboard? Dashboard high level data like this. Specific subject area data. Simply multiple reports data if you place in a single area for understanding that is called dashboard. And this is also daily we use it. Car dashboard, piano dashboard. Dashboard, the generic word. So where high, um, multiple things available in a single area. High level. Detail in report. Dashboard is high level. Example, saving account. Withdraw report. Only savings account data. The same savings account. Deposit report. Only deposit. But whereas in this area, savings account analysis. And here I will take important information of deposit, important information of withdrawal. This is the difference between report and dashboard. Got clarity? Right. Their detailed information here high level. How come, sir? Normal data converted like this. Now we are going to little technical. Kindly keep your focus. See, there is a moment of arrow. Notice this. So, the general public, these platforms they use. The data is input data. And the data, transactional data. This part you know very well. No, this is a BA process we follow. And finally, management suitable reports or dashboards we generate. Very standard BA process. 
Don't feel panic. Daily we discuss this. You feel poor after two days. You want to construct a house. How do you construct? Tell me. First, we practically we'll discuss. We'll go for foundation, pillars, yeah, rope, or ceiling, side walls, and remaining. We don't construct directly, but that is the order we follow. So here also, if you want to convert a normal data into decision making data, this is a normal data. You want to convert to decision making data. First step is this. And this is the second step. And this is the third step. And this is the fourth step. Four stages or four steps or four layers. First step level, extraction, transformation, loading. Simply data retrieval, data changes, data loading. Where do we load? Huge storage area. Huge storage areas are called warehouses. Data, warehouse, data, huge storage area. So daily data you take here. For example, last six months data you want to analyze. Last one year data you want to analyze. Compulsory last six months data, one year data required. So here, years and years data available. Historical data available. Incremental data available. More data. But complete data we never use for analysis. Always we take required parts and go for analysis. Assume this is a banking warehouse. ICICI banking warehouse. It is having deposits in for sorry, savings account data, current account data, DMAT account data, loans information, and employees information, employee salaries. We don't generate reports for all. We don't go for uh, dashboard creation for all. Whatever required, we take it. That is next area. Specific data we take, specific calculations we create in a separate storage area. Finally, this data given for the reporting or dashboard purpose. And this information viewed by the management as part of decision making. So these are the four layers. ETL, warehouse, semantic, reporting, four layers. And we have many tools, guys. These kind of tools, Informatica, data stays, Ebenezer kind of tools in this area. Teradata. These kind of databases in this area, Hyperion and these kind of components in the cubes, and these kind of components in the... It's a different company. But no company has given n to n components, no company. See the important point. BA process required multiple layers. I will show you. Don't feel bo, it's very important. Legacy BA, 90s, multiple tools, multiple setups, okay. multiple resources, very complex and costly, 90s, nice. old BA, okay. very tough guys. Since we're entering into BA, you need to know from the scratch, what type of BA was there initially, middle age, how it was, modern, how it is. Then only you'll enjoy the subject. Initially, it was very tough. So Microsoft decided, why don't we give a single application to perform all the process. That is MSBA. And if you try in Power BI, you find many places MSB, MSB, MSB. Because this is a first BA from Microsoft. That's important one. First BA. And this only got leadership to Microsoft in the market. Because this is a self-service BA suit. Suit. It is having first tool. The suit having first tool, SSIS in this area. The suit having second tool, SSAS in this area. The suit having third tool, SSRS in this area. So what is IS? 
Integration Services. S is for SQL Server. What is AS? SQL Server Analysis Services. RS Reporting Services. So this is for Data Integration, Data Analysis, Data Reporting. The name implying integrating data, analytical data, reporting. All the three in a single suit, single pack, suit or pack, anything, okay. And the first BA. And it only brought leadership to Microsoft. Then why Power BA? This is the question most of the managers ask. When MSB available from Microsoft, MSB brought leadership till this day. MSB having its own market. You don't believe very strong in the market, then why power be? You are supposed to know or not? You are supposed to know or not? We can say a lazy point, having more features. It's generic point. And what are the more features? So I will make it interesting, kindly focus. MSP having uh, these versions. First one is 2005, next version 8. 2005 level, though it is released, not used by MNCs. Small, medium companies use it like anything. MNCs is not satisfied. So Microsoft took three years of time and released 2008. Yes, they did not see back and market later from 2008. Every two to three years, there's a new version in the BI. 8 or 12, 14, 16, 20, 17, 19, 22. Till this day, Microsoft is a leader in analytics in BA because of MSBA. But now Power BA continuing it, but MSBA started and around 10 to 15 years. So around 10 years, it continued the leadership. Sir, how come I believe, sir, your statement? There are three organizations. Just go to those ratings, you will see. Forrester Wave. Gartner and there is one more. So these three ratings, if you see, you will come to know. I will show you, kindly focus. Guys, who all just join, kindly provide your email ID and mobile number so that you will receive demo videos and documents. The session will continue till 7, 10 p.m. Kindly stay tuned. Something interesting you learn now. 15 minutes more. See, Microsoft named a leader in the 2023 Gartner Magic Quadrant for analytics and BA. Leader, 23, 24 noted. We are thrilled to announce that. For the 16th consecutive year, Microsoft has been positioned as a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant. Sixteenth consecutive year. How come, sir? Power be recently released. This is because of my MSP. See Microsoft on top. Do you know what is the market share? Out of 100 projects, 42 percentage of projects in Power Power BI in the current market. If you have 100 projects, 45, 42% of projects in Power BI, not a normal number. Remember, these are all sharing, remaining 58%. Got clarity? Okay. And you can look into this in the zoom matrix. Just go to zoom matrix. There you will see the market of Power BI. Super. Right. You can ask one question. Sir, uh, Microsoft brought the leadership, everything is good, then why Power BI? First point I will show you here. This is the standard BI process. I told you here. Multiple tools required, multiple resources required, multiple setups required. Whereas MSBA level, single suit with multiple tools. 
That's why we call it as self service BI suit. Self service. What is self service? If you go to a hotel, they written self service. We right. go to the counter, take the ticket, go to the kitchen, bring our food, everything. Right. The same way, any everything possible in this area. So we call it as a self service BI suit. Now coming to Power BI, self service BI application. They reduce a bit. With multiple concepts, no tools, no setups. So whatever you're doing in IS level, AS level, RS level, the same thing we can do it here. Similar thing we will do. And this is the concept one, which is designed for this purpose. Concept two, which is designed for both this purpose. Concept three, which is designed for this purpose. So Power BI level application is only one, no need to install three applications. Only one application, which will do end-to-end -end process. So initially multiple tool, multiple people, multiple companies, multiple setups. With MSBA, multiple tools of Microsoft. With Power BI, multiple applications in a, sorry, multiple concepts in a single application. Is it really good? Now that is the first one. Now, remaining points I will tell you. See the question. Why was Power BI released when MSB already exists? This you need to know first. Then you can work in MSB or Power BI combination projects. Even when you manage and ask. Tell me why Power BI when MSB already existed from Microsoft. The reason MSB released in 2004 or 5. Whatever the features it is having before 2004 market based features. And Facebook, you know very well, 2004 only announced. Google Analytics, 2005 onwards available. Cloud, cloud in the market from 2006. And your apps, mobile and tab apps available 2009. So everything after 2004 only. So Microsoft existing architecture not suitable for cloud, apps, unstructured data, many more. That is a major reason. That is a major reason Power BI release announced. Because MSB level, cloud support is less. MSB level, multiple applications, uh, tools required. MSB is not suitable for mobile and tab friendly. MSB work with limited data, unstructured data very less by the time. And MSB applications, you cannot place in Facebook, Twitter, etc. Nowadays, everyone showing their information the Facebook, Twitter, Twitter in many areas. But MSB is not possible. That means not embedded. Embedding means placing in other application area. Placing in other application area, not possible. And average coding is required. That was the coding time. Now coding is less, but earlier average coding. So MSB level average coding required. Visualization is very less. Beginning of business intelligence. So visualization is very less. And that to Microsoft releasing every two to three years, a new release in MSB. That is one more feature, one more issue. Now IT changing drastically. Many cutting edge technologies, many cutting edge process. MSB does not support. So people question, ask, request on Microsoft. Why don't you compensate the current market? That is the solution. Power BA. Powering BA. Powering BA. Adding more power to existing BA. That is Power BA. It's a crazy name, Power BI, yeah. adding more power to existing BI. So cloud available, on-premises available, single application yeah. sufficient, yeah. mobile and tab friendly support. Any type of data it supports, I told you at the beginning, right. easily in the Facebook, Twitter, many places you can use. Less code is sufficient, report visuals are more, grandier visuals. And Power BI, every month we have an update. Continuously, IT market it is tracking and giving update. 
So though it is released in 2013, this is a release year of Power BI. And every month we have an update. For example, your company recently released one new component. So my assume our Microsoft team will join, they will integrate with you as part of Power BI support or other support. They will announce in the next month we join with so and so company. That the speed they are maintaining. And some people conclude, not some people, Microsoft, some experts conclude. Power BI is a low code application, cloud and on premises support application. It is a self service BI application which will generate reports and dashboards from the data. You have data from data, reports, and dashboards generated. And cloud and on premises supported, self service BI application, low code application. So, based on the interviewer, interview process, you can answer either crazy definition, adding more adding power more to power. existing or full technical definition. It's a low code application, cloud and on-premises supportive, self-service B application, which will generate reports and dashboards from the data. And Power BI announced in 2013 July, and every month we have an update. And with a given spirit of Power BI, Microsoft wanted to rule the market, rule the market with low code components. That is Power Platform. Power Platform in 2019. It's a low code platform. So five low code components. How many? Five. So Power BI is the first one. And it was given in 2019. So Power BI for report generation, dashboard generation. Power apps, low code only. Your mobile and tab apps you want to generate. Power automate, low code only for robotic process automation. Automation process. Virtual agent, a low code component for intelligent chatbots. When you go to a website or mobile application, you will find it. How may I assist you? That's the chatbot. Those you want to create with less code, this is suitable. And you want to create your own website, own web page, then go to Power Pages, low code to create those. These five components. And Microsoft assume like, uh, however, .NET very popular in the market, .NET platform. VB.NET, ASP.NET, C-Sharp.NET, VC++ .NET, like this, multiple .NETs as a .NET platform given succeeded. But coming to power platform level, not much happened because IT drastically changing. Yeah. Now, wherever you go, AI, 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 yeah. artificial yeah. intelligence, artificial intelligence. Even Power BI also moved to artificial intelligence area, that is fabric. What is fabric? June 2023 given. Fabric is an all-in-one analytical solution for enterprise that covers everything from data movement to data science, real-time analytics, business intelligence. So these are the components available in the fabric, fabric components. First one, Power BI for reports and dashboards. Data factory for data integration. Synapse. Synapse is a component for data storage, data analytics, data warehouse, data science operations. So one for reporting, one for data integration, one for more storage and analytics, one for monitoring. So these four components with AI features, artificial intelligence features is fabric. Everyone understood? What is fabric? <laughs> Yes, Power BI, Data Factory, Synapse, Data Activator. These four components combination is Fabric. So you, are, you will work on Fabric Power BI from next session onwards. And look at this diagram. Don't worry, I will give you this. Data engineers, engineering you want to do. 
in this area data factory data synapse synapse only we use it you want to try as a data scientist synapse data science power bi yeah, is too suitable right data analyst you want to try in the market data warehouse synapse component data okay. activator power bi data citizen you want to try data citizen only data monitoring data presentation so power bi is suitable for data scientist role data analyst role data citizen role and not only power bi even other components in this area that's why this is called all in one analytical solution fabric is an artificial intelligence based all in one analytical solution so if you want to establish a good career in it along with power bi and which skill set you will decide which component you go along with power bi you want to learn one component tell me which component you learn either data factory or yeah. synapse or growth your money you are having more experience you want to gain some uh, resume it is or you want to try in the combination go with power bi data factory and go power bi synapse or three you are able to learn let no problem yeah. then you are a fabric developer what is fabric developer got clarity so i explain from data to microsoft fabric all levels three types of data two types of storage two types of format two types of it applications ba application is one kind of it application power bi released in 2013 self service bi low code application generate reports and dashboards it is plot it is one of the component in the power platform but now it is a component in the artificial intelligence solution fabric and by using power bi these are all roles you can try in the current market got clarity so whatever yes, i decided for the last 40 minutes i covered this part tomorrow i'll explain you practical first 10 minutes recap next 40 minutes we'll see power bi components power bi practical that you need to practice it i'll give you a clear material to practice and clear credentials to practice so you need to practice tomorrow so today is important understanding session tomorrow a play practical session with components so this is what i am going to show you tomorrow and if you have a data like this how power bi will convert report like this this we will see practically tomorrow okay okay complete layers process so tomorrow is in the power bi components and power bi practical how yes, how to convert this data into this easily tomorrow i will show you fine right i believe today you understood what is bi yeah. levels of bi why power bi when msb available and now power bi a part of fabric then what is fabric everything i explain and if you have any questions kindly take your mic and ask your questions and as i told you earlier i'll give you daily live class video and communication is very effective in the whatsapp level and other areas and you can call me in these timings and who all wanted to take career guidance or any other is call me on this number i will provide you guidance and we have offline and online i have multiple batches 7 am 8 am 9 am 10 am 5 pm 6 pm 7 pm the current batch is 6 pm batch 6 to 7 pm today tomorrow demos from day after tomorrow regular classes and who are interested to come for offline yes please do come if you are in hyderabad prefer offline than online If you're not in Hyderabad, take online. Both are effective. Don't worry. All right, sir. Thank you uh, for joining today. Sir, uh, one question. Tomorrow uh, for second demo. Now sir, I will open. Now I will open for questions. 
kindly ask your questions sir i submit mail